Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Hope you're all okay. Well, we've got to the end of this week of Daily Positive. We'll start a fresh little story next week. This week, we've been talking about positivity and how to push the fearful thoughts away. And we've spoken about our mindset and physical. And something else I want to talk to you about is the language that you use, particularly to yourself. You know, when you're with young children, your voice changes, doesn't it? We all do it. We all go, oh, why do we do that? Well, it's natural instinct to do that because we know children respond to a happy, cheery voice. And even as they get into toddlers, we still watch our language. We try not to talk about scary things. We make sure that we use good, positive works, words. We would never say, don't be stupid. Um, well, I hope not anyway. Um, <clears throat> you know, we, we watch our language to those that we care about and that we love and that we're responsible for. Well, who is the most important person that you care about and responsible for? Of course, it's you, because if you don't look after you, then you can't look after anybody else. So the language you use to yourself is really, really important. And if you change the conversations you have with yourself in your head, you can actually transform your way of thinking. So that's all I want you to practice today. Try telling yourself some really good stuff about yourself. And in order to do that, you need to maybe dig deep and think, well, this week I have made some achievements. I have kept moving. Sally's told me to do this and I've done it. I've changed the way I move. I've changed the way I maybe jump out of bed in the morning. I don't know. I've changed the way I speak to the people around me because we're getting on each other's nerves. We're living together. We're all in together. But I've managed to change that. So now it's time to change the way you speak to yourself. Use good, positive language to yourself. The final thing that I want to say this week is stillness is really healthy. So in amongst all your spare time where you're trying to keep busy, try and take a bit of time just to be properly still. And being still inside is completely different to being still on the outside. You can have stillness around you, but still have your mind going like crazy. But sometimes it's really good every day. It's really good. In fact, it's more than good. It's life saving. It's crucially important to get some stillness in your mind. And to enable you to do that, the language that you use to yourself is important. So you need to say, say to yourself, well, I deserve a bit of stillness. I deserve a bit of quiet time. I'm busy taking care of everyone. I'm looking after my family, whatever it is you're doing. But I deserve this. I need a bit of stillness so it's going to make me feel calm. I'm not into these big mantras that people, uh, what are they called? Mantras where people say them over and over and over again. I'm, I, I don't do that. But what I do do is watch the language that I use to myself <clears throat> and make sure that I listen and tune in. Because do you know what? I'm here to tell you that you're doing fine. You just have to tell yourself that. Have a great day.